Ladies and gentlemen, Dwayne Richards all the way crashing in. Crashing in. Uh, crashing in. Hey, speaking of that, listen, when we when we pulled up, there were two dudes leaving here on a chicken truck. A crazy thing. <laughs> and they asked if we would. You guys brought gifts? <laughs> yes. Wow. You guys, I don't wow. Know. Uh, could you actually put the tree back yeah, into. That. They also uh, uh, had an Xbox. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah they, didn't, we didn't give, they didn't give it away. I didn't even know this is how trees work. Wow. Yeah. Well. That is a palm tree. He's not from Florida. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's right. Right. And some filters. We got some filters wow. There you go. Hey, so uh, so tell us who you are. Tell us where you're from. Tell us about these amazing T-shirts you're wearing. Oh, this is a uh, super soft, super soft Sunday cool T-shirt. What? Uh, Those look so we actually, soft. Really, no kidding. I just got this box in. I think it was Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Oh, let me see. And so, do you, yeah, check it. It's it's super soft, dude. It's super soft. Check that. That is super yeah. soft. Yeah, that's nice. I'm wearing that's one. Nice. Ah, that's nice. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. Really cool. Even tougher up in New York. I Maybe guess. a few extra dryer sheets. With that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Uh, so who are you? So I'm Dwayne Richards. I am the student pastor at First Alliance Church in Port Charlotte, Florida. Oh. And then I brought this guy with I'm me. I'm Seth Gardner. I am the student ministries intern at the same church. He, and I'll tell you something. He is the best intern I have. Really? Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Now I understand. We could tell you the best intern we have. Yeah. <laughs> Is that yeah. right? Hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, not here. They're not here right now. Uh, K Cup, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. There you laughs> Whoa. Now. Hold on. <laughs> uh, now, there's been some exciting stuff that has happened in your youth ministry uh fairly recently lots right of exciting stuff yeah lots around. of exciting stuff tell, tell us a little bit about it well we we actually just got back from reverb ourselves and uh that was amazing we went to reverb orlando uh took a bus load of 50 there were 55 of us because that's all that would fit on the bus and uh headed down there and we had i believe it was six students that came on that scholarship that came oh, students wow. reaching students wow uh what what was really cool is that we saw students I had never seen before in my life, no idea who they were, uh, got to know them a little bit on that trip. And, uh, and what, what, what I love about Reverb, what I love about really, and one of the reasons I love partnering with Word of Life is when we, you guys talked about this earlier in the live stream, is that I get to say to students all the time, there are lots of reasons not to come to something, but don't ever let finances be mm. that reason. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we were able to, to tell lots of students, look, it's you know it's it's half price and if you can't afford that like we can figure that out but let's come let's go on and so we had lots of students that invited students and we had quite a few students that raised their hands that night and said hey i, I want to make a decision awesome tonight. awesome that's so cool i love it Dwayne, how did you first hear about word of life so it's interesting uh i kind of came into this whole youth pastor gig in a in a non-traditional way and so uh it was out of it, me being a brand new youth pastor, kind of our youth pastor kind of moved away abruptly and they asked me to like just jump in and, and, and fill this role, you know, and, and it was summertime and I had to do something. And so I heard about this camp that wasn't that far away and uh, Word of Life Florida Youth Camp in 2013. Whoa. Yep. And that's, that was my first introduction to Word of Life, and I was hooked, man. That's cool. I was hooked. I said, we're, we're not going anywhere else. <laughs> that's so cool. That's so cool. And Seth, Seth, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I first heard about Word of Life when I went to the Bible Institute. Never done any camp or anything <laughs> like that. Um, it sounds like you just showed up. But, I, I, I heard about this place when I was there. I'm just <laughs> His mom and dad dropped him at the gate. Yeah, <laughs> I go on, get, wow. get, go. Wow. Wow. And uh, yeah, so I did that, and... I mean, Word of Life is pretty awesome. I've been it's able to best. continue. It's that. the best. It's the <laughs> best. I love it. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I've been able to continue that relationship through this internship, obviously, going to camps, reverbs, pursuit, all of it. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. Pretty great. I love it. Wow. We, it, <laughs> um, and, and, and what are you doing right now, Seth? So right now I'm the student ministries intern, so – it's a lot of everything. It's all the stuff, really, that I don't want to do. Pretty much. <laughs> That's so good. It's, yeah. Wow. That's Delegation we is, we is yeah. probably the yep. best thing. Mm -hmm. By interns. the way, David, could you get the trash out there? <laughs> <laughs> cool. But, Seth, you're a part of a program with Word of Life. Yes, I am. I'm part of the youth ministry internship. Uh, so it's a two-year internship that Word of Life does where it partners with local churches 
So I pretty much am involved and affiliated with Word of Life, but I work at this church doing really whatever. We do a lot of fun stuff. How's he doing, Dwayne? Listen, uh, all <laughs> he kidding. already said he's the best all intern you aside, you know, yeah, I say he's idiots. the best intern that I have. He is a phenomenal intern. Wow. I mean, mm-hmm. it, 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 is, it astonishes me. How many interns are there? Well, actually, we, we do actually have two. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> however, Ooh, however, yeah. the, the other Ooh. intern works primarily with our children's ministry. So Seth works primarily student ministry. And, uh, but he's knocking it out of the park. And what's great is when, when I bring in an intern that has completed two years of the Word Life Bible Institute, I know I'm bringing in somebody that is prepared and somebody that, is, somebody that has what it takes and comes in with good knowledge and training. So. Now, Dwayne, you're, you are partnering with Word of Life in the summertime because you believe in the message of camp and you believe in the life change that happens in camp, but you also partner with us not just through the events but also through 51 and through, through uh, creative discipleship tools. W- why, why do you choose? Because there's, there's a ton of resources that are out there as a youth pastor that you could utilize, but what's one or two of the aspects as to why you decide to allow us to partner with you and your church? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting because I've used a lot of those, those other resources. And, uh, you know, started out with camp, and it was like gradually began to get a bigger picture of exactly what's, what really can happen when, when it weaves through out everything that we do. And so now, you know, we use the 51, and we use the curriculum, and we use the Multiply app, and we use the Creative Discipleship. And when you begin to see how all that weaves itself together, it just makes sense. It makes sense that I can say to, to parents, uh, listen, your, your student can come to camp for free, for, for nothing, and at the same time be, be engaged in spiritual disciplines, be memorizing scripture, be having meaningful quiet times, uh, reading books and, and a coming just show, points for just showing up, mm-hmm. bringing friends, having gospel conversations. And it's, it's amazing to see what happens as students begin to take some of those steps. Uh, we, have, we have some students right now that actually are going to be surprised to find out next week. Seth and I have been kind of looking at our statistics and things and going through. We have several students that have reached like a, 100 points of the 500 needed to get free camp. I mean, they're 20% of the way there already when they find that out it's going to be a bit of a of a you know kind of a little nudge to say mm-hmm. you know what let me keep going let me what's next for me kind mm-hmm. of a thing mm-hmm. and so it just it makes so much sense when you see how kind of it, it all weaves itself together in, into what we're doing and it's and it has become not just like this partnership but it's part of our overall strategy mm-hmm. it's it's what we do mm-hmm. awesome Dwayne, uh do you have any stories you could share with us or maybe just even just one story of life change uh, through camp or through what yeah life. yeah so I'm gonna tell you so I'm gonna take you back to that summer of 2013 and oh. tell you a story about some life change uh, I had a camper that year uh, he was a squirrely kid <laughs> like like he had pointy ears he, buck teeth and a tail <laughs> what well, the dog yeah. doing he had a shape well let's just say his dad had recently shaved his head that was like the last straw you know he kept getting in trouble dad said you know what that's it anyway he comes to camp he gets really challenged by the speaker <clears throat> about sharing his, because he was, he was a, you know, he grew up in the church, you know, mm. but he really got challenged about sharing his faith with his friends. And he actually went home, and he was a homeschool kid at the time. He, he went back and he said to his mom and dad, he said, you know what, everybody that I know is, is either a, a homeschool group or they're at the church. I don't know anybody that doesn't know Jesus. He said, you know, I, I want to go back to public school so that I can share my faith. Mm. And he did. Wow. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I would get phone calls from him nonstop. He would call me from school or text me at school and say, hey, I'm going to share the gospel with these two kids at school. Pray for me, okay? Wow. And then that would be it. And then he'd tell wow. me the story later. And so he continued kind of uh, on that path. And actually, his school, even though it was a smaller school, became we have so many students from that school, even to this day, as a result of, of, kind wow. of his evangelism <laughs> efforts at school. And so you fast forward a few years, he ends up at Camp Crew, he ends up uh, kind of staying on staff at Word of Life uh, here at the coast, and now uh, I think he's like the assistant camp director or something. You're talking like about Ooh. Bobby Brown. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Brown. That's pretty crazy. Yep. Awesome. I thought yep. he was going to say he was sat there. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty cool, yeah, too. That would be. You know. But yeah, uh, a little bit of life change. Here. Awesome. Yeah. So, so Dwayne, how many students have you been able to... 
uh, challenge, encourage, but then C, go to the Bible Institute from your ministry? We have had, so I've had 13, I think, at last count that have done uh, first year, and then I think nine of those have gone on to do second year. Wow. wow. And we wow. have four, actually, that are in New York right now. And, and, and so you believe in partnering with Word of Life because you feel like it helps you to accomplish what oh. your heartbeat is, is what you're saying. Absolutely, absolutely. I, and it, if I look too, I'm just thinking about those, of those 13, I think I have, there are three that right now are in vocational ministry. Wow. And a fourth that's getting ready to graduate college that's considering uh, missions, hmm. full-time missions. Wow. Uh, and so, you know, it's funny because somebody was asking me not that long ago, like, how do you measure success as a student <laughs> pastor? And, uh, you know, that's a tough one. You know, there are a lot of metrics you could look at, but I said, gosh, you know, longevity kind of allows you this, this, you get this opportunity to kind of look and see what the long-term fruit of your ministry is and, and, and how that works. And when I see students that go through and, and are continuing to serve the Lord well into adulthood and knowing that, that the generations that follow them, that their kids are going to grow up knowing Christ and that they're going to affect change around them and, and be a voice for Christ. Uh, throughout their lives that's that's i get goosebumps just talking mm. about it mm. that's incredible now now, now Dwayne, you your church actually does a, a pretty big extensive uh fundraising process which a lot of churches out there a lot of you are sitting there going oh my church does a fundraising process i i, I think you guys do it probably bigger and in my personal opinion better than <laughs> i've seen a lot of people do uh, to get behind this, and yet you still allow us to partner with you guys through that life change, uh, that that process, because you want to reach more and more and more kids uh, with, with the gospel of Jesus Christ, whether it's through the Bible Institute or whether it's through youth ministries or whether it's through camp. Uh, l let me ask you, in your words, when you stand up and and challenge people to give what's what's the what's the what's the plea that you give because you're you're the guy on the grassroots going i'm i'm looking at these kids and having to say hey you need to raise money or i'm looking at these kids saying it's been paid for so so from a youth pastor's heart why should somebody give to giving tuesday to see life change happen you know it's it's in, it's it's easy for me to do because if it's somebody from my church i can i can say hey think about the last time that we had baptisms and think about the testimonies that were given because 85% of them, if, especially if it was a young person, oh, I came to know Jesus at camp. Mm. Wow. Uh, I, I threw a stick in the fire at, at, at the campfire. Um, even with our adults, you know, oh, yeah, when I was a kid at camp, that was, that was the first time I met, I met Jesus. Wow. And so to be able to cast vision like that and say, you know what, this, this is what your money goes to. Um, and here's the other thing. Our people see it in our students. They they when they come back from camp, they come back changed. They come back different, and, and our adults notice it. And they, I'm telling you what, sometimes I have people that line up to give me money. I have, I have people that will come to me. I have one lady that, that she's in her 80s now, and she every single year she will come to me because she got saved at a Christian camp when she was a little girl. Wow. And she'll write me, and she says, what's the full amount? I want to send one camper. Wow. And she will write me a check because she believes in the ministry. Love it. It's good stuff. Love it. That's amazing. Well, you can have that experience right here tonight. You can give. We're matching the first $54,000 that are given here tonight are going to be fully matched. That's so, incredible. So uh, you go ahead. Go, you've got to throw that up on the screen, the website they can go to, and uh, you can give right now to be a part of that. Uh, and like Josh said, that $54,000 is being matched. Not 58, because not 58, I did talk to my wife. 58. She said the 4000 is not something we can do right now. Oh, okay. but, 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 but let's we, think I about mean, it. We, will, we are it. a part of it. We will there are, it, there are people right now that could make a serious dent in that $54,000. And and that's that that could be a youth group that that could be a that could be the whole hope for kids ministry of that that we just watched uh, that could be you partnering with a local church for these kids that do the creative discipleship program uh which Seth talk talk to us a little bit about the creative discipleship program because you're able to see it not only in in a youth leader's perspective but also in the student's perspective being a small group leader um you know if somebody gave to this life change scholarship, yes, it's going to camp, but it can go to fund these creative discipleship scholarships. What's the difference that is that you're seeing being made on the grassroots level in these kids' lives because of that program? 
Yeah, so creative discipleship, I mean, it is like an invaluable kind of like set of resources to be able to come to a kid and say like, hey, you can get free camp, but in doing that, you're going to grow. Um, there's one kid in particular who he started coming uh, back in August of 2020 who like barely even knew what a Bible was, had like never, like he had been to church a couple times, but like had no idea what anything was. And I started going through him through the creative discipleship process with him uh, just, you know, just for like the, hey, like, do you want to come to camp? All right, let's do this creative discipleship so that you can get there because he's from a lower income family, couldn't afford it anyway. Um, But just seeing the growth in him through that and then being able to look and be able to see him. And I mean, he didn't complete the creative discipleship process, but being able to see the change from like where he once was to where he is now is just like, unrecognizable Mm. just like incredible Mm. and um there are kids like we have kids that we send on the creative discipleship scholarship and there there's an obvious difference between uh the kids who do creative discipleship and the kids who don't like the kids who do it like they get it they understand it they know what's going on um and it's so much more than just hey go to camp for free you know like it's so Mm. much beyond that Um, I mean, it's a good little incentive, but like the life change that actually takes place mm-hmm. in doing that is like, I wish I had known about this or I had even done this when I was in high school. Cause it's just incredible. Mm. Like to see where they once were and where they are now. Awesome. Uh, Dwayne, there was a story I believe that you told me about a kid named Kyle in your group who waited to go. Uh, he was going to college in Texas. Was was, was that you? Uh, Brant, I'm so yeah. sorry. Yeah. You know, I just like the name kids, Kyle. Yeah, kids but, named uh, Kyle. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm wasn't there a guy named boy. Kyle that you were going to buy an Xbox for? <laughs> and uh, that little boy grew up to be the camp director. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, 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 from, but tell well, us about this kid, because this kid had, has, has seen his life change through your oh, youth ministry, word. impacted by the Word of God. T- Tell, tell us about why should we should give to kids like like a brand yeah you know so yeah brand it was it was interesting he really was uh he was ready to head to school he was in texas and uh, he had kind of made the decision sort of last minute you know i, I really want to i really want to go to camp and uh and he flew home uh to just to come to camp and immediately flew back after camp but he said man that was that was life-changing and actually there's more to that story that you don't even know because he was home this weekend. Are you serious? He was home this weekend. He spoke to our lead pastor and he mentioned that uh, he's 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 feeling the call even though he's going in and majoring in uh, some crazy science, molecular biology, like crazy or neuro, whatever. I mean, just crazy smart kid. But he said, you know what? I really feel like the Lord may be calling me in the ministry. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, yeah, life change. Wow, life change. Well, guys, thank you so much uh, for what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Week in and week out, uh, I know your phone probably never stops ringing. <laughs> there's, there's probably times that you want to put it on do not disturb mode and you can't because you know you're making yourself available to those kids and being there. And, and I know we say this every, every week at the campfire with leaders. We don't get to do what we do without you guys faithfully doing what you're doing. And so thank you so much. Uh, we pray for you. We, we our, our lives and our ministries are changed by your faithfulness and challenged by your faithfulness. And so, uh, just love love the impact that you guys get to get to be a part of. And while we while we're on the subject of celebration, let's uh, do a giveaway. Seth Seth just got engaged. A giveaway. Sure Something's being gave away. Right and, it's his, hand and it's his hand in marriage. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if, fiance is watching. Right if now. we is his fiance watching? Oh, she, right, Taylor? she was watching earlier. Hey, we as an ordained minister, I could be oh the God, first ordained oh minister God. that this performs a wedding this has over. Never, no, this has never worked. Oh, I've been trying so many times, it's never worked. All right, let's let's right. give something away. Tommy. In, in honor, in celebration of them getting engaged, let's give something away. Actually, Tommy. I heard that Taylor stopped watching. She's like, I said, I have a wow nub. Wow. <laughs> That's more recent. Um, giveaway over to the interns. Oh, we've got a giveaway, yes. don't we? Oh. Here is what we are gonna give away, guys. A gift card. <laughs> See, they don't they don't have the list. I have the list. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I sat there and yeah. watched. It was it just waiting. I, did. Uh, I sat there and watched I just it inter- Interject real fast before we do this giveaway, Kyle. I have a question. We have a, a viewer that is watching that wants to know what Kyle's Chewbacca 
sticker says of okay. you were asked us I'm curious what your Chewbacca sticker says it, uh, it says uh, no te rajas which I believe is never surrender oh there you go which is Chewbacca's actual like he used to always say that well, I'm sorry let me say it in Wookiee <laughs> And I, I mean, he said that a lot in the movie. That, he yeah. was saying it the whole time. He didn't say anything. Else. Was, you know, Leia like, would come to be like, "Move Ooh. carpet bag," and he'd be. And he was actually saying, "Never surrender." Never surrender. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go, viewer. Thank you for that question. Okay, great, now we can move no, on. That's with a great. Qu- that's a great question. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Out of all no. the questions, that was one of them. That was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So next up, we're giving away a Starbucks gift card. Ooh. Oh, a drum roll. Ooh. Up to. Lillian, Lillian Bronwyn is her name. Lillian Bronwyn. Lillian Bronwyn. Congratulations. Lillian. Lillian. What I wouldn't do for some coffee right now. Lillian. Wow. Lillian donate that please, coffee Lillian, to Tommy please. right now. Lillian. We actually were going to bring coffee tonight, and I said specifically, Hey, don't worry. We, we coffee have coffee tonight? right there, and we have filters, yeah, we and we have a coffee pot, pot and I heard yeah. Molly makes amazing coffee. Yeah. Well, so, congratulations, shout out Lillian. to Molly, the intern. And sh- shout out to Molly, the PA tonight. Seth, the Seth intern. And Seth is an intern, Seth, too. So. Seth, three interns here. Wow. Molly, the intern. So many Molly interns. actually. Yeah, the yeah but my question is, does Seth make good coffee? Oh, yeah, that's the only Kyle, Molly the intern, actually, fun fact, big announcement, just told us a few minutes ago that she is going to second Are year. Are you kidding, ladies and oh, gentlemen? Yeah. 